I'm back up in the wheelhouse and I thought I'll show you this. We needed a ventilation fan for our bathroom um, and our bath the roof of our bathroom is actually essentially the bottom of the dash in the uh, in the engine bay. I'll spin it around and I'll see if I can show you that. So there's the uh, the forehand side of the, the wheelhouse and you can see this this here that's the roof of the bathroom um, and this is essentially the, what the chart table will be eventually in the wheelhouse here. So I thought I'll show you all the components because um, we couldn't just buy something off the shelf that um, was a, a reasonable price, available in Australia, um, could pump a decent amount of air and looks good. Um, so we built our own. So what we decided to come up with was this. So it's actually a pretty simple bilge blower. I don't know if you can see that, it's a bit, the light's a bit full on. So it's just a, a bilge blower that we've got, pretty four inch round bilge blower. This over here is a hole um, that we plasma cut out that goes straight down into the bathroom. So on the bathroom side, we're going to be actually fitting this little gadget here. Let's put this together so you can see what it looks like. So it's pretty much just looks like what you'd have in a house. Just a, you can screw that right up and seal it off, but it's just basically a, a vent that goes in the roof. It looks pretty straightforward and simple. It's all stainless, so it's nice and easy. And on the back, you can see it's, it comes apart. You mount that into the roof, and then you screw this bit so you mount this bit into the roof, and then you can screw this part up into it. Um, so it all sort of locks together like that. This eventually will come up through the up through that hole basically like this. This, this back part here will, will stick up like so. And we've got a hole. Let's see if I can just move the camera so you can see it a bit easier. It's all taped up at the moment to stop the rain, but there's a hole that we gassed, a uh, plasma cut out of the back of the wheelhouse. So we actually just use um, Four inch downpipe, um, so it's basically the same same size and diameter as the the bilge blower, but because you can sort of see, obviously it steps up at one end, so you can let so a four inch pipe can slide into it. It works out perfectly to clip on like that, so it actually goes together. It doesn't obviously stay there, so you have to do something. Um, one of the best things that we've found is actually just using sicker. So we put a bead, a, a nice big chunky, maybe ten mil thick bead, all the way around that there and then you slide that on um, and sicker will sort of squeeze out all the areas. You can just sort of clean it up with your finger and maybe mask it up with tape so you can get a really good line. Um, but yeah, once that's all, all on there and dry, it'll never come off and it's a really solid join, no air leaks, anything like that. So this build blower, it's very noisy. I'll turn it on and you can, you'll hear it in two seconds. So, yeah, okay, so that was an example of what happened. <laughs> I don't know if you can see in there, but there was a receipt lying on the desk just beside it. It sucked it, <laughs> it sucked it in and basically tried to ram it down the, down the end of it. I'll try that again. So the build blower is quite noisy, so I'll turn it on and you'll, you'll see how noisy it is. So obviously when we're having a shower, we don't want to have like a really thumping great bilge blower, you know, hauling away and making lots of noise in the corner. So what we're actually going to do, this bilge blower is going to be mounted on the outside of the cabin. So it's going to go on the back of the wheelhouse, essentially pointing up. And we're going to use these sort of connector um, pipes. Let's spin the camera back around. So these connector pipes are basically going to go into the wall like so, and then go straight down uh, onto this here connection here. So when all the panelling and everything's on, the only thing you'll see is this one pipe going down like that. So it'll be quite neat and tidy and look like it was always supposed to be there. On the outside, there'll be a pipe basically coming out from the wall and going up. And we go straight into a bilge blower like that. And the bilge blower will be that way around, bolted onto the back of the cabin. And then on the top, we've got a pipe that does a 180 degree bend. So that all of the air is actually getting blown out and down. Um, and that's going to stop the water from rain and random spray and all that sort of stuff. Doesn't matter if a little bit gets in, it can't. It's still going to go up and around a bit like a door aid vent. Um, and yeah, it's a pretty hardy little thing. We've got 
I mean, we can replace these pretty easy. It's only $35, I think, for two of them combined. So um, I don't mind having four or five of them on as spares. It's not really a big deal. Um, so that's our bilge blower. Um, we set it up the other day when I was welding in the wheelhouse here. So when I welded, you can see these seats behind me, when I welded the mounts and everything for these seats, um, I was tacking it together with an arc welder. So there's quite a lot of um, smells and stuff like that as the flux starts burning off the rods. Um, the wheelhouse doesn't have real good ventilation at the moment. We haven't solved that bit yet. Um, and one of the issues was we needed to get rid of all of the smell out of the warehouse so we didn't essentially gas ourselves for the night. Um, so we set up the bilge blower and I was sucking air out of the wheelhouse and blowing it down into the bathroom, which doesn't have a door on, so it's essentially blowing it outside the boat. Um, and it was unbelievable how much wind uh, these guys put out. Like, they, they're seriously powerful little things. Like, it's, um, it's rated at 270 cubic feet per minute. And I don't know, I don't know if that's good or not. Um, but yeah, man, it was awesome. Um, so yeah, that was that was um, a good little test, and I'm really happy with it. So we're going to run with that for now. Um, it'd be nice to get a quieter version later on. Um, I don't know if we can do that. I don't even know where you get them from. Um, but this is going to be our um, our system that we use to start with. Back in the bathroom. Um, I say this every day, but last couple of jobs. Um, so we put the ventilation um, extractor fan, like the mount for the extractor fan in today. Um, it's thin, it's basically pressed stainless steel and it wasn't a perfect flat finish or anything. The roof's pretty good, the stainless wasn't. Um, so I made up a bit of a jig. Show you this up here. So it's basically a big flat plate of steel with a bolt in the center and then it sticks through the roof and on the other side I made up a big U-frame and just bolted the whole thing together. So I've pulled it tight using this flat thing here. Um, so this is the only surface that matters that it has to be straight so yeah hopefully this will work sweet um, also a bit of an update on these um, dodgy corners and stuff that we're trying to sand off a um, couple of suggestions from uh, some of our youtubers so we've got a die grinder and we've got one of these little flat wheels little 80 grit flat wheel um, so I've never used one before so I'm just going to give it a shot and um, see if it works you know who you guys are that recommended it so thanks and we'll um, see how we go with it and we are doing a fit up of all of the taps um, so I've had to put some of the gear in so in this case I'll show you here I've put uh, this is our sink that goes into the corner a um, little push button type sink that we've got in here um, it's just got a single cold tap that's all we'll need for it's just basically washing hands and stuff and we're putting the shower goes up on this wall here so um, we need to basically do the, sh the center hole here is for the shower so if you can see that the center hole is for the shower and there's gonna be a hole on either side for hot and cold tap um, so I'm just mounting those up now um, and then I'll drill a hole further up here that actually holds the shower head on. But what I wanted to show you, so this is this is what's behind the walls. I don't know if you can see that, but it's basically like a, a copper is copper pipe assembly. There you go, it might be a bit easier. Copper pipe assembly. So the shower goes in the centre, and then you've got these tap fittings on either end, basically. Um, so that actually sits in behind the wall, and these three things come through into the bathroom. That's what we're mounting at the moment, and I'll show you all of that fitted up in a second. So this is the tap assembly, that copper thing I just showed you, basically through the wall. So I've got three holes through there, and then these here, they've got a thread on the inside. These basically are the bottom part of the tap, and so nip that up. They actually thread onto that part. That thread goes onto that part of the assembly there. So nip those up tight. And then other way around. Voila, we have taps. Damn it, I did put it on the right way the first time. I can't remember which is hot and which is cold. It doesn't really matter at this stage. that is the fitted tap assembly that's going to get the shower into it. So it's exactly the same deal with the shower end of it. It basically has an internal thread. If we just wind that on, then we should be good. So I bet it's going to be too long. Yeah. Okay, so there's about a five mil gap down the back here. So the way that I'm going to deal with that is pretty simple. I'm going to cut that. 
So I'll shorten this up by maybe five or six mil um, and then make sure it's a really nice, beautiful edge because you can sort of see down in the bottom of there is a rubber, o a flat rubber O-ring. So that's obviously going to have a decent sealing face. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll cut this off with a um, with a grinder so like I get a nice square cut with it rather than a hacksaw where I could sort of wobble as the blade goes down and then I'll make sure I file it up and get a really good finish. So this is our finished shower. Um, you can see the stripped down mount at the top there. Unfortunately I'm not, not real happy about this little kink here but um, yeah, oh well, you know, whatever. I'd rather be using my boat in Antarctica than piss and moaning about a little wine like that. And these are the taps and everything that we mounted. Um, so I had to modify, as you saw, I had to modify the thread on this one. I've cut about five mil off, but um, other than that, these all fit up real nice. Really happy with that. And then a little sink. You can see the wall itself isn't straight. Steel boats are pretty much never are when you weld them, they bend. So this here is, is roughly straight. It's ceramic, so it's not perfect. And this here is definitely sort of bent that way. So what I'm actually gonna do is um, like chop away some of this actual sink and get the sink to meet the, modify the sink to fit the boat. Um, this is ceramic, which is incredibly difficult to grind away. I tried grinding it the other day, and I didn't even like dent the surface. So I don't know how I'm going to get that off. Um, I thought about flap wheels. I thought I thought all sorts. I don't I don't know much about ceramic. I don't know how to cut it. Um, I know it's pretty strong because they use it in all sorts of like sandblasting nozzles and stuff like that. Um, it might be that I can't, but you know, we'll give it a go. If I can't, then we'll just get it as close as we can and run a nice bead of sealant along there. So we're getting there. So we've got the first coat on, um, it's a wee bit thin in parts. So originally I sprayed this room, so you can sort of see all the fairings done, it's sort of basically disappeared into both corners everywhere. Um, originally I sprayed this room and the finish was beautiful and uh, everybody said that I was crazy and I should be rolling it with mohair rollers. Um, this is rolled with mohair rollers and you can see I cracked the finishes. So I'm actually going to sand all this back probably using 240 grit and just get it as flat as I can. Um, doesn't really matter, I've still got another couple of coats to go, so it's not really a setback at all. I've just piled heaps of paint on because I know I'm going to be sanding it back. Um, but yeah, so all up, we've managed to finish all of the fairing, got all of our little parts installed. There's a, the, the lip, uh, sorry, the extractor fan, and then over the back you can see there's four bolts welded to the wall, that's so that we can mount a shelf down the back. Um, and then yeah, toilet mount, and um, all the bits and pieces for the shower and the sink and all that sort of stuff. So we're making some progress. So that's two coats of um, Joten Mastic 90. Just jump in here, you can see it's weaver hard and it's light. Um, but yeah, basically everything's all panned up. It's come up reasonably well. So I don't know if you can remember it, this whole roof. When we started, this whole roof was pretty much rusty um, on, the, on the right hand side up here. It just turned to shite. Um, so that whole lot's been cut out and replaced. Same with down the back, we pretty much cut a line all the way down the center and all of that's new and that's original. Um, and then all the way up here, that's all new as well. You can sort of see all of the corners, they're all cove, so there's basically no hard edges anywhere, so nowhere that mould can get in, nowhere the water can sort of sit. Um, we'll sand all of this to be like really spotless, and it'll pretty much come looking like a fiberglass bathroom basically when we finish, except for that well down the back, but that's okay, we'll leave that behind the toilet. Um, so yeah, shower drain and everything sticks up slightly. We're gonna once all of this has gone hard, we're going to put um, cement in and sort of cove the floor down so the whole thing drains down to that one hole. Um, and then we're also going to uh, put tiles on top of it so it'll look pretty nice. It'll be a gloss white bathroom when we're finished, um, but yeah, it'll have a lot of stainless and a lot of sort of um, like ceramic, just white, nice glossy white ceramic and stuff, so it'll look pretty clean in here. 